Hi, I'm Nicolas Selam. I'm Texas, from Texas Instruments, System Application Engineers. So here you have the new uh, BeagleBone based on the AM55 uh, processor, new uh, Cortex A processor, very well integrated when it comes to uh, different peripherals, no ADC, uh, IOs, uh, 1 8 volt, 2 or 3 volt. So it's really Cortex A. We're running at the moment the new 3.1 on it. As you can see, BeagleBone at the moment. Uh, Enable a really uh, easily expansion card to be uh, plugged in, like this one uh, doing all HDMI and uh, audio uh, input output basically. So you can see video being uh, being played in, in, in parallel. And we're connecting using the USB, um, able to control external robots, because the goal of BeagleBone is to be able uh, with, to control two different IOs, okay, different uh, other elements of this. Uh, of the place. So, assuming here you see the robot, we have a, a kind of web page that is able to control okay, the behavior of the robot. You can see it move, and everything is done to the web page using JavaScript and a lot of uh, it's a software that has stacked the one uh, on, on the other. So, able to move, I would say, the, the base of the robot really remotely. We are using different event IO so that you know from the web base and JavaScript we can launch different native applications within the Linux with one hundred. So here we show how hardware being stacked the one on the other. We can easily stack different software coming from different origins very easily in order to control different components at the same time. Robot, video and any other thing you can imagine. How many expansion boards are there available at the moment? At the moment there's only one that is in plan, so it was a DVI and I would call it the user interface one. Okay. There are other ones coming much more targeted to uh, wireless LAN and connectivity. Okay, and we 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 heard that uh, the community is already working on different motor control boards. Um, different, it's a whatever the uh, the community can imagine. They can bring, I would say, some hardware advantages that could be leveraged then in software. Else using Linux, else uh, bare bones software, and no software uh, like any uh, Arduino type environment will be able to uh, to, to plug on the, on the bigger bone very easily. Okay, so how does this, the, the bigger bone compare with the original beagle board that we've got here? Yeah, beagle board, the original one, was really targeted by uh, really providing a high performance uh, Cortex 8 uh, environment and able to, to display 720 videos, stuff like that. But uh, from a connection perspective, it was very limited. Okay, and um, generally the IO on it were at 108 volts. Okay, so nevertheless, there have been a lot of development from the community, from customers on that board. And we wanted to ensure that with the Beagle Bone and thanks to the new processor available, we can have a higher integration level from a processor perspective that enable a lower system cost, but as well, I would say, a necessary expansion uh, connectors enabling, I would say, the hardware imagination to take on top of the software that as it was done on the Beagle XM. Okay. And, and the, the, the Beagle Bone is based on an A8? Yeah, it's based on the A8, so we got it called the AM35X Cortex A8. So, as you can see, we see all the same Cortex A8 here, running max 720 MHz. Okay, we have a standard generic interface when it comes to video that has the graphics and the display environment. But as you can see here, we have a very well integrated peripheral set that, that we are ranging from a standard I.O. up to 6 UART, uh, the different interface for the audio, uh, to SPI, CAN interface, we've got two CAN interface, um, different ADC uh, interface as well, we have up to 8 channel, 12 bit interface, um, 3 MMCSD interface, USB 2.0, already pre-integrated, and ability to have dual port Mac. Meaning uh, up to one gigabit each. Okay, the processor itself is capable of managing from low power DDR up to uh, DDR3. Okay. okay. The um, the BeagleBone is that sold by TI or through distributors or? Uh, basically, it's not sold by by TI uh, at all. Okay, the philosophy of the board that it is accessible. Okay, for uh, for everyone. Okay, for the different community. So it would be accessible through the standard. I would say distributors level like. Uh, DigiKey uh, in the US, but as well from different uh, TI distributors in, uh, in Europe, as well as uh, BigLixel. Okay, so TI doesn't own it. We, di we did it. We designed it. Okay, but we want the community to adopt it very, uh, very easily from the hardware perspective, but as well as software perspective.
Okay. So, and thanks to, to Jason Krittner and Gerald Collier who made that happen because they are really great guys. Okay.